Sharks have a lot in common with serial killers. A criminologist at Texas State who just appeared on the Discovery Channel Shark Week tonight found sharks' hunting habits are similar to the patterns of repeat criminals. KITV's Catherine Stolp talked exclusively with him about his methods. It's tonight's cover story. Ever since Jaws in the late 70s, people have become fascinated with these top predators, and that's largely thanks to Shark Week. It seems to send humans into a viewing frenzy with record ratings year after year. Tonight, Texas State professor Kim Rosmo brought his expertise to the show. It's all about understanding their hunting behavior, the predator-prey relationships, and their ecosystem. Rosmo is a criminal justice professor who developed an investigational method known as geographic profiling. Originally, his tool caught serial criminals by narrowing the search of a suspect's home to a small range of possible locations. It's like getting to the, the end of a really good mystery novel. His model, derived from applying a complex mathematical algorithm, is now used by the FBI, Scotland Yard, and even the U.S. military to find terroristic headquarters. Most recently, he applied his model to shark behavior. As it turned out, though, that their attacks were not random. There was a specific location that they kept returning to, sort of an optimal site from which to be uh, starting their hunt for the seals. Using location data from great white sharks and geographic profiling, Rosmo determined sharks have a well-defined epicenter. He found that anchor point is not where capturing seals are greatest, but perhaps represents a balance between prey detection, capture rates, and competition. Rosmo's model led to a greater understanding of how and where these large predators hunt. Catherine Stolp, KITV News. Fascinating. Well, Rosmo's model is also being used to study the behavior of mosquitoes. He says it's proving helpful for tracking sources for malaria. And here in Texas, tracking West Nile.